We got a whole bunch of machining to do today on the old espresso machine. Uh, there's a couple parts that I want to make. I got the machine on this turntable, which is nice. And on the back side here, we need to mount this pump. So we designed a bracket that I showed you in the last video. Um, so we just need to machine that out. So now that that bracket's done, I need to drill a couple holes uh, in this plate to mount it. Um, and while I'm at it, I need to mount a couple other things there, so I thought I'd do it at the same time. So let's get the machine flipped over here. I think this might look something like that. Power supply can mount there. This power supply may be right here. couple of these yeah maybe something like that So here we are with the espresso machine. I got the pump mounted, which worked out uh, pretty well. It's nice and solid there. I don't know how uh, it's gonna do with all the heat coming off the steam tank. I figure it's below the steam tank and the heat rises, I guess. I don't know if it's actually gonna matter. We'll, we'll see. On the bottom side here, as you can see, I got the power supply mounted. There's a low voltage power supply that's gonna take the 24 volt out of this thing and convert it to five for the lower voltage electronics. I got a couple relays mounted. 
I machined this pocket in the bottom for the relays to recess a little bit more so the, there was room for the terminals to, to sit there. Next, I think I'm gonna machine the uh, actuator. I got this piece of brass that I'll machine and then um, this piece of 304 stainless is gonna be the actuator that I'll flip back and forth like that. So there's, I got to machine the profile out of that. So that should be fun. There's a lot of things to mount to the top of the machine up here. Um, I have these, a couple uh, pressure transducers. So all that does is uh, reads the pressure of both the steam tank and the brew tank and then it'll report it back. So I have a pair of them here. There's one, there's another to read the pressure. So, and then there's also a vacuum breaker here. So vacuum breaker is probably gonna mount in there. Same with the pressure transducer. You can see those amount like side by side, somewhere like that. So this would be the inlet valve for the steam tank, which would mount back here, I, I guess, somewhere. Yeah, maybe something like that. And then the, the water inlet for the steam tank is here. So the water will come out of the pump here and then go into the inlet of this valve here and then out of that valve from here can you see that yep from there and then to the inlet of the steam tank there so that'll be kind of fun I think that'll be a good spot for it and this is a lot of copper tubes to make and maybe a bracket to mount this thing yeah so it's all gonna be a total blast to make just there's just a lot of work to do I originally made this tube here that threads on here, and this has a pressure transducer in the top to read the pressure of the steam tank, but I don't really like the look of this thing. It's kind of big and obnoxious. Uh, yeah, it really sticks out there. <laughs> That's, yeah, that could be a little bit uh, classier of a system. And then there's also this one that is the vacuum breaker that I made to, this is all just for testing. I, for quite a while ago, put this stuff together to test it out. But yeah, you can see that sticks way up too. That's obnoxious. So anyway, these two pieces, um, the vacuum breaker and this uh, pressure transducer, I think can mount, mount both side by side in this area of the machine. But I'll have to, I suppose I can make a, like a manifold of some type, like a piece of brass or stainless or something, machine a manifold that can mount there and then and then have it snake around to the the tank. So I think I'll do something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So I think that's about as far as I'm going to make it on this one. Thanks for watching.